Sands Film Studio is located in Rotherhithe, London and opened its doors in 1975. The studio is a Grade II listed building and was built over 200 years ago in the 1780s. It's one of the last in-house multi-facility studios left operating in England. It boasts a large fully functional studio, post-production facilities, one of the most sought-after costume departments in the world with a reputation built on traditional handmade techniques, a screening room, a cafeteria, rehearsal space for actors and one of the UK's finest picture reference libraries. Sands Film Studio has been involved in the making of Pride and Prejudice, Marie Antoinette, The Young Victoria, Atonement, Elizabeth the Golden Age, The Other Boleyn Girl and many more. It is owned by film producer and director Olivia Stockman and award-winning costume maker Christina Edzard. Sadly, Christina preferred not to be a part of this film, but she is very much a part of the studio. The thing which is important about this building is that it is an integrated, um, it's integrated place for making films. It puts under one roof a whole collection of facilities and uh, things which makes it possible to make films. It helps people making films, it makes it possible for us to make The concept of a studio is ultimately a kind of toolbox for making films with all the resource and all the things that you need at, at, at your disposal to, to do it. It does everything. This is a studio, so I'm told, based on the original studios because everything is done in-house. And so you're not clamped down by having to go all the way around the world to get bits and pieces you want. It's done here. Well, originally the studio was a, a warehouse. Those buildings were built in the 1780s as part of, of a whole sort of network of, of buildings which are uh, for the loading and the unloading of barges and the supplies of goods, small valuable goods, for, um, for the town, you know, providing food things. Well, the studio moved in this area in the 70s, the mid-70s, and the studio came in a little bit in that, in that wave of invasion, if you like, that uh, it needed a space where to, to create workshops, uh, carpentry workshops, uh, sewing workshop, um, costume-making workshop, and, uh, and, a, and a space for stage, for the facility that is here, which is for filming stage. It also needed space for the library, for the reference library, for all those things. So it made complete sense for this kind of infrastructure to use a space like here, which had gone um, completely in disuse. This is the first time I've used Sound Studios and we looked for quite a while for a location for <coughs> a place that was suitable to do these, these interviews, which are very sensitive um, interviews. And we needed to find somewhere, firstly, that was completely quiet. And that's very difficult. When you start looking in London, you realise how few places there are that are completely quiet. Um, and also, we wanted to find somewhere where people would be at ease when they arrived and that they could sit and have cups of tea and... Um, just feel relaxed because obviously we're asking them to talk about something that's potentially very upsetting for them. So we wanted it to feel uh, a kind of comfortable place, and, and it's been brilliant for, on, on both those those scores. The atmosphere has been just a, a, you can tell there's a sort of rich, creative atmosphere here, um, and that is just really nice to be part of that. You feel like you're kind of in the right place to be doing something interesting and 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 creative. The whole purpose of this library is to provide reference sources for the filmmaker, really, of all kinds. Um, and there are three collections here. There's the Rotherhithe uh, local history collection. There's this enormous collection of everything from architecture through to disasters, through to sports and pastimes and theatre. And there's a 
a Southwark collection which is uh, founded in the 1970s of uh, research from all over the world. And then there's a, another very precious collection of textile samples from Paris warehouses in, from 1900s to the 1950s. So in this room, you could start off with going to society leisure a race meeting at Chantilly in France in 1890s. You could see people having a picnic in wonderful clothes, but you need to know what they're eating. You need to know what their servants are wearing. You know what kind of carriage they've got. You know what kind of horses they've got. You need to know what kind of knives and forks and glasses they're needing. And in this room, you could find all that out. People come here because they know we um, have a particular look and that is unique. There isn't any other place. And if you, um, I'm not saying it's better, it's just a very different look from other companies like Cosbrock or Angels um, and big designers like Sandy Powell, they, they know that. And if, if that goes, it's not something, it's something that's being created, created um, organically to use a horrible word but over time um, and you can't you can't make that you can't um, get that instantly it's something that's um, developed and and if that goes it goes it goes forever I've always respected Christine's work immensely and the fact that it is without doubt you know the finest costume house now in this country Well, we, we run a film club here uh, once a week on Tuesday night. Um, it's started a few years back uh, as a mean to uh, revisit films that maybe we saw many, many years ago and uh, which contributed to our passion for films. And then invariably what happens is that you work all the time and the running of the company and the running of the studio is so intensive that you end up never having time to go to the cinema, never going out, never seeing things. And the film club was an opportunity to, um, to rediscover and to revisit those films. Well, the, no, the film club became very, very successful. It has a, a membership of about 1,500 people. And it's, it's, it's a combination of uh, uh, film professionals and uh, local, local people. But the real, the, 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 what makes cinema really different is watching it with, an audience, with a live audience. And so having a film club makes that possible. Stan's Film as a company is very successful. However, it doesn't own the property we've occupied. And the owner, which is an asset management company, has uh, come to the idea that the property would be more valuable without us. We need to buy the asset, we need to buy the property. So we are issuing shares in the company so that we can raise the capital required to buy the property. It's unthinkable to let it go. It's not a business that can relocate and just be plonked into another, another A and another uh, industrial estate because too much of its character is linked to the character of this building and uh, so it cannot, it cannot be moved if you like, it can't be reinvented elsewhere. I think it would be a loss uh, to not only the, fil uh, the British film industry but I think it would be a huge loss to Rotherhithe in general. I couldn't imagine anything worse than waking up in the morning and looking out the window and seeing a Starbucks instead of seeing Sands Film Studios. The whole ethos of the place and the entire environment which it creates around it creates such a, a lovely, relaxed, calming area of London. It's a wonderful place to be a part of and the studio itself really is the heartbeat of the, uh, the area of the Rotherhide and Thames Tunnel Mills and Brunel Museum. Anyone who loves the history of dress would be wanting to keep this place going, not just because of the place, but the fact that this wonderful talents of Christina and Olivier and all their staff are associated with such a wonderful environment. The issue with this is that we've 
got to complete, we've got to raise the money. Now we've agreed to buy it, we have to succeed in raising the money so that we can complete the, the purchase. If we don't complete the purchase, there's no more science films.